two questions here. Do you realize that the market is very different from what you've known like maybe 5, 10 or even 20 years ago? And second is that do you realize that a lot of time your trades will go against you? And for example, let's say you have a buy trade. So instead of it actually going higher after you bought, it will always come down and you probably get stop out or you have some panic attack. And after a while, uh, either you get stop out yourself, so you cut your loss yourself, then price will move in your original direction and you will just move up like nothing ever happened. If you remember all these experiences, then you've probably been washed and means or what I term it as a you know, tricked by a fake move. These are all very common tricks, right? I will explain in this video why these things are happening. And more important is that I think that there is really not many ways to avoid it, but there are ways to counter it so that at the end of the day, you can still make money. If there's one message that I want to shout loud to all of you, then that would be that the market is not the same anymore. And that my purpose is to address one question that you always have. And it's not only a question, but it's more like problems that you have, right? Is why are you always getting stopped out? Why are you not making money? And I hope that this video can address your problem. I would like to ask you that when you see this long up bar here, do you think that price is going to continue to move up? So there's one concept which is called breakout. That means that you think that price managed to break above, uh, let's say a resistance or supply zone. So this is your supply zone and you will continue to move higher. So this is one concept. But many times you find that by the time that you bought in, instead of it moving higher, it instead, right? would just come down and you make losses. Have you experienced this before? Now, I need you to pause a while to think about this question here. Have you experienced this before? I think the answer is yes. Okay. Now the question is that then why is it that these are things that's happening? This was like a super strong momentum bar, then it should break up. I think the key question to ask is whether at this place that price had been pushed up and you're going to buy whether it is cheap or whether it is expensive. Because we know that when you want to buy, you want to buy somewhere cheap so that you can move high and you can make money, right? So if you can buy at a cheap price, then there is a higher chance to make money. But if you want to sell, you want to sell at an expensive high price. Now let's take a look at relativity, right? So for example, if you draw a poker card, all right, and then if you draw a card of let's say uh, nine, right, then the maximum it can go is probably 10, uh, maybe J, Q, K, right? But the probability says that when you draw a card of nine, then there is a higher chance of it actually moving lower because you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's for price to move down. So for example, if this was a previous high, which we know that it was, and then this was a previous low, and that's really shown, right? Let's say for example, I'm gonna mark the high as 10 and the low as one. Then when price was here, then do you think that the price is nearer to 10 or is it nearer to one? So imagine that if you were to draw a poker cards and then the maximum high price is 10. So at this place here, are you nearer to price of 10? Will there be a higher chance for price to move up or for price to move down? I think these will be the key thing that you want to consider. All right. Now, because a lot of time, if you take a look at the market, there's a lot of automations going around. I'm sure that the automations, the machines, they are able to see very clearly that previously this was a resistance and then this was also another resistance and this was also another resistance. So these are the zone of surprise. Now, when priced hits near to all these resistance, then they probably be actually planning to go for a sell. Now, the key thing is that they want to push price up to trick you to buy, okay, so that they can sell to you at a cheap price. Now, sometimes it is just not possible for you to know that it is going to be a trick because it might be a valid breakout. So my solution is this, right? When price is nearer to 10, you are not going to buy because it is just simply not at the right value. You probably want to buy when it's nearer to one, like at a two or three level. So at 10, you'll be looking for a sell. And let's take a look at the outcome of this trick here. See, true enough, you find that price moves up and heads into a resistance and all this very bullish bar is just a trick. 
And the nasty thing is that the market has to push price up in this very bullish bar to cause people to buy because of a breakout of this sub level here. But in fact, it was pushed up higher to the major resistance level. And what happened? It plunged. So for me, what I'm doing is to work on the concept of wash and means to assume that when price is always near to, let's say, a 10, which is a resistance, I always will assume that there would be a wash and means, right? So then where would be my wash and means bar? Let's take a look at the concept of wash and means. All right, so this is the concept of wash and means. For example, if priced is to break above a previous high, then I would think that this is a wash bar. That means that people would be looking to buy at a breakout, right? But uh, why is this a sell pattern? Because the high idea is that if price continue to break higher, that means that it is lucrative to look for sell because you want to sell at a high. But if price cannot hold above the breakout level which I call this a wash line then and if price is to close below that wash line then it will become a rinse bar so the wash bar would be that bullish price action the rinse bar would be that bearish price action and the nice things is that this is not a candlestick pattern because wash and rinse can have multiple candlesticks that means the minimum bar would be two bars but it can have unlimited bars the whole idea is that as long as price stays above the wash line then that will be treated as a bullish move but if price doesn't stay above the wash line then it becomes an opportunity for us to sell so remember in a sell wash and means we are looking at price going higher but it doesn't want to move higher and there was a price rejection now for the buy wash and means of course that we have to look for price going lower so for example this wash bar is when price closed below the previous low we are able to draw in a wash line here and the wash and means will happen if price cannot stay below the wash line instead it's actually moves higher above the wash line so let's take a look at the few trades right which i did on wash and means the first one is the us index nasdaq trade so this trade is very simple for example you saw that this was a low so this is your one and then this is your 10 right so when price hits near to that 10 level we are looking for a sell the nice things is that program the indication which automatically shows you that wash and means that means that you no longer needs to go and look out for that wash and means pattern because they are all automatically drawn so for example we have when price near to let's say one remember this is your 10 this is your high and when price again is near to one see that the indication drew in that green color buy pattern and that allows us to buy so when price gets nearer to the 10 level which was the high level then price made this bearish red color indication you don't need to go and spot this pattern yourself and that brings a lot of convenience to you now another idea of looking at wash and means is to really look at the trend so for example if the previous high was here at 10 and then the previous low was one and when price gets to that 10 just simply look out for a red color indication okay we are always looking out for a red color indication because that shows wash and means when it's near to a resistance level for example uh, you also find that the wash and means works very nicely on multiple instruments like for example this trade here was a trade on gold and it works wonderfully because we were able to spot that buy signal before the gaza conflict and of course that previously we were selling into gold every time when it moves to the high point then we have that sell signal at the high point we have that sell signal and the key thing about wash and means is the very nice high reward to risk ratio the risk ratio is about two is to one but sometimes we're able to get three four five is to one and this is the reason why wash and means is a highly profitable strategy here now i also use wash and means in stocks so this was one of the stocks that i've traded and why do i know that there was a wash and means remember see this there was this low here but price was being pushed down Right, so I was able to draw in a wash line at a higher time frame when price moves up, that becomes the buy signal for me. And as well as when price has back to that support level, so this was the support level that was broken, then there was a wash and means pattern around here that allows me to get in before price break out again. And lastly, if it asked me that uh, how do I get to know about all these wash and means pattern, you know, do I get notified? Is there a scanner or screener that allows me to track through so many pairs that I'm trading? 
Because not only that wash and rinse can be used for forex, it can be used for indexes, commodities, cryptos as well, and even stocks, CFDs. So I monitor all this using this real-time scanner, which is like a dashboard. So whenever that the dashboard lights up here like this, you know, yellow in color, I know that a trade potentially had happened and I'll be able to go in to spot that trade and key in the trade myself. Now, of course, I use a lot of automation. So let's take a look at the automations that's available to uh, you. All right, this, this is a Tor Trade Manager, which is an EA that I use to do auto entry. Not only that it has automatically entered trade, you are also able to let the trade manager define your stop loss and your target profit. And when you get into profit, then you will automatically shift your stop loss as well. We call this a trolling stop. It's very useful because then while you're working, you can't manage your trade. Then you need to make sure that your trade doesn't get into a high risk uh, issue. Then you can use the trolling stop to just uh, manage your trade or even to keep on adding into your winning positions or to help you exit your trade. So let's see what happened to the trade manager if you do have one. All right, you see that? Automatically, the trade was exited. I want to share with you how I'm trading, how I've traded. Uh, more important is that there are a lot of changes in this market, which I think that you should be updated. Uh, so I hope that you like this video. If you do like that, remember to subscribe because I'll be talking a lot more about how to use wash and means in my different trades and potentially to bring up some nice trades for you guys. And lastly, if you're interested to join the Alien Wash course, which is the course that teach you about wash and means and to provide with all these tools that I've created and I'm giving to my students, then you can take the cashback offer. With the cashback offer, the course fee uh, would be fully uh, refunded back into your account. These are trades which are done by myself or my students using the Alien Wall strategy. Join our community and take advantage of our six times a week training lessons, automated trade signals, and live trading sessions with our experienced Alien traders. And for a limited time, we are offering a 100% full cashback offer on our course fee. That's right, you can learn our strategy risk-free. Over 1,000 students have already taken advantage of this offer and seen success. Visit this website now to learn more and join our community.